guys, so today is a bit of a special day. Um, we're going out on a boat. CJ's there, skipper in at the helm. Just about to leave New Haven now. Going under the swing bridge. Under the swing bridge. Got some absolutely beautiful bait in here. Fantastic bait. Look at all that. Spoiled for choice today. Yeah, really looking forward to today. First time on the boat. Hopefully, I don't throw up everywhere and embarrass CJ. But not be embarrassing me, mate. <laughs> I've bought some nice sandwiches that I can eat. Got some nice, nice sandwiches. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. So we just anchored up to the wreck. Uh, Chris has thrown the anchor down. The anchor has got a, a ring on it. He said it's, it's, it's called Alderney rigging. So the anchor, the anchor is, uh, has a link of chain on it. Um, we have a metal ring. We so have a buoy attached to the metal ring. The anchor walk, the anchor rope goes through that, feeds through that that, that ring. Uh, we put a peg on it so that it keeps the buoy away from the boat. Uh, and then when we come to retrieve the anchor, we just steam up tide and the anchor rope feeds through that metal ring, uh, lifts the anchor, and the anchor then sits underneath the buoy and I just pull it in very easy. Which we'll, we'll video and we'll show you doing that a bit later on. So the anchor is situated now at the front of the boat and the idea is that we're going to fish off the back of the boat. Yeah. Um, and hopefully... And, and the wreck is about 50 metres behind us. So, right. um, so by the time our lines have gone down at an angle to the bottom, we're fishing towards the base of the wreck. So the fish are going to come out from the bottom of the wreck. Um, we're not fishing into the wreck. Uh, we can, we can, we, we've got the ability to drop back a little bit further if we want to, or we use lighter lead so that we can get a bit further. So we want to be fishing. So the, if the wreck's here, we want to be fishing here in front of it, right? Not over the top of it. Yeah. So that's the plan. That's the plan. So what we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get baited up. Uh, we'll show you guys what bait we're using and what rigs we're using. Um, and then hopefully uh, we'll be able to land some decent fish today. So cheers. So Chris is just dropping the anchor then. We're now at the uh, the first wreck. We've done a little bit of uh, a jigging for some mackerel. We've got a couple of mackerel to use as bait. And the idea is that we're going to try and go for conga. Or bream or smooth, smooth hounds or anything else that we got. Grass. Grass would be nice. So just letting the anchor down. It's an absolutely beautiful day. Couldn't have picked a better day.
Let's get a fish. Alderney ring, metal ring for the uh, boy. Right it. Over goes the boy. Wooden peg. Swings around the side, perfectly positioned on the wreck. Sounds good to me. Time, so, like I said before, then the anchor is now positioned at the front of the boat. Chris is just tying it off now, and then hopefully, we're going to get some baits in the water. Let's get fishing. Right, so the bait we're using today uh, is mackerel. Black, mackerel flapper. Uh, Chris has just flapped the, the back of that. Can you just explain how we do that, Chris? Right, so, so. the mackerel, when it was intact, <laughs> was like that. And we run a knife underneath, so run along the bone to about this midpoint. Yep. And then turn it over, do the same thing on the side, and then just cut through the backbone. Yep. And then and you're left with this flapping, bleeding mess. So the idea of the flapper is obviously, you know, traction. Yeah, and then so on and so forth. Put the big hook up underneath there and there's a nice flapper bait. That looks like an absolutely brilliant bait mate. Still right I'm going to give mine a go in a minute then. Okay. Yeah should be right. So we are just filleting off the mackerel. Nice mackerel flapper. Is that about high enough Chris? Yeah. Yeah? Spin it around. Do the same. Watching your fingers on the fillet knife. Now what we want to do is we just want to take out that backbone, and that is our nice gooey mackerel flapper. Hook straight under and up. All right. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Just going to tidy up my hands, and then we will get that cast out. But that is what we're going to be using, mackerel flapper, hook at the top, bingo. So Chris is on, onto a fish. A tope. Chris is onto his first fish. A tope. It's actually a tope. Uh, oh, oh, it's coming. Oh, yeah, it's gone. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. King to have that fucking fish, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> fucking Toby Tope. He's taking a hold up. So Chris just jigging for oh, some bait. No, oh, how's that gurnard? Gurnard. Oh, that's a lovely little gurnard. A big one. Oh. Join the 
Two and a half. Yeah. Said we were gonna get a mixed bag today, didn't I? Yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice. Look at that. Look at the colours on that. Red gurnard. It's a lovely fish. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Crunchy. Croaky. Yeah. I've just been jigging these feathers. I think I'm into a fish. Well, I hope I'm into a fish. Chris had pout, bream, mackerel already. Gurnard and scad. So he's doing good. So hopefully he'll be able to pull in a fish. Feels nice. Oh, I've got a nice gun. Yeah. So there's my first fish on the boat. Apart from a couple of mackerel I had earlier. It's a nice gun. Yeah. Absolutely lovely blue eyes, isn't they? Yeah. Really nice. Right, that's on there, Kim. Heads like armour plated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah put that over the side. Very spiky. <laughs> Ordinary spiky, yeah. Oh, so there's, my, there's my fish, nice little red gurned. Nice fish. Get Chris to take a nice still for me in a sec. Right, so uh, let's throw him back in. He can go and fight another day. And he's off. Uh, Chris has just reeled into a nice little dogfish on the uh, mackerel. Is that Chris? Yes, on the whole mackerel. On the whole yeah, mackerel. For ages. That's what all the little knocks and rattles have been. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I'm Nothing still. Good as bait. <laughs> I'm just uh, jigging. Jiggity jiggity. Fine. What's that? I got I've got fish on. Well, it's not me. I don't think so. You're on the other side, aren't you? Yeah, no, because the boat's swung right round, so. Uh, it feels like a fish, mate. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa. Is that you pulling me on, didn't you? Oh my god, that's pulling Chris. That's really pulling mate. Remember you've got tiny little hooks on there, so whoa, unless, whoa, it's, on, whoa, whoa, unless whoa. it's on the on the big perk. Oh my god. That feels really good. God. Jason might be into the first decent fish of the day. Wow. That feels real good man. <laughs> See, I, I, I'm wondering if that's come on the jig. Yeah, I think it might be on the bottom. But, but it might be on the little hooks, so if it's on the little hooks, don't bully it because it will still pull out. Okay. Oh, wow. You're a puffin, it's a tiddler. <laughs> Big compared to what you get on the beach. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, it's a bit, ooh, it's colour. Ooh. Whoa, it's gonna take ooh, a lot of them. That looks like a nice fish. In fact, it looks like a net-worthy thing. I was taking another spin. You alright? Yeah, Oh wow! Oh wow! Wow! Well, just jigging for mackerel, and we land a nice type. That's on a slow jig. On the on a slow there. jig. Oh wow! Oh man, buzzing now. Whew. That was good fun on the light rod. Oh wow! What a fish! Look at that. Look at the teeth on that. 
Wow. Let's get it out of the net and get oh, all the fish. Here. Yep. Oh. You alright? So I'm on a slow jig. The first decent fish I've ever on a slow jig. Wow. Right, so this is my first tope uh, on CJ's boat. So absolutely, thank you very much, CJ. Absolutely cracking fish. Yeah, let's get it back in the water. Let's get it back in the water. Watch, watch the release. Do you want the release? Do you want all these hooks? Do you need to hold them in or? Yeah, just hold them by the tail. That's it, let him go. He's gone. Wow, what a fish. Oh, we didn't weigh it. <laughs> right, so I think I'm back into another fish. <sighs> I think it's 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 hot the bloody old rod over. Just trying to pull it away from the back end of the boat. It's pulling me right round there. Oh yeah, it's a pout. Put that down. Oh, bloody hell. And he's gone. <laughs> nice little pout there. Going in the bait box. Happy days. We sort of fish. Doesn't feel like a big fish. Pulling quite nice. Whoa. Oh, so that's a nice one. Well, that's a big mackerel. Fucking up. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a big mackerel. <laughs> it's a nice big mackerel. Absolutely corker that one. Absolutely lovely man. Let's get him in the bait tank. In he goes. <laughs> yeah, so just going around now. Chris is a skipper in the old, uh, old boat. Now we're just gonna pick up the anchor in a minute and then uh, yeah we'll drop back down and hopefully get some more fishing. That's nice bend on it. Coming up. And a hard back crab. And a hard back crab eh? Gotta love hard back crab. Yeah, but it's not fighting at all so it's all not pouting. Ooh, look big at that. Pout. That's a big pout. <laughs> ah. that's, yeah, that's what we call a granddaddy. That's a nice one. Again, I find it very hard to get this, the word nice and pout into the same sentence, but... <laughs> this is a nice fish, mate. That's the bait which he definitely wanted that crab, didn't he? That'd be cool. Must 
bend in that rubber. That's a nice Mackie. Oh, it's a pout and a mackerel. Oh, two pouts. Double shot pout. No mackerel. Nope. Out on the slow jig at the bottom. Yeah. You want these or not? Um, oh yeah, no, they're they on the bait. Yeah, bait size. Okay. One pout for bait there. Oh, he's done. Gone on the rummage. Right in the bait tank, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. 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 Chris is saying up out. So yeah, we're doing doing good. Right, so going back out for the big baits. Here we got a squid and sandhill wrap. Nice 8-0 hook. Water trace on a running ledger rig. Let's get it out of there. Back in the game. Back in the game. Come on the string of mackerel, not the pout. Whoa. Whoa. Come on. Oh yeah, I think it's mackerel. Yeah, oh, I think. Is it mackerel? Oh, is it, is it mackerel? Woo! Nice mackie. Grab the lead. Have a nice mackerel there, going in the pot. Thank you very much, sir. So Chris is into the first eel of the day. Not a monster. It's a nice one. Ten pound, maybe. Yeah. Lovely, mate. Well done. <laughs> it's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, got <laughs> uh, only a baby though. There's Chris with a nice eel there. Nice eel for Chris. Chris into another fish. Oh, no, it's a, a ras. Is it a ras? Oh, lovely. Nice ras. Nice one, mate. I'll wait, for you, I'll wait for you to bring it up. That's on that, isn't it? It's all monks, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Close up of those teeth. Lovely. Nice one, mate. Nice fish. Hmm. That's my next bait going down then. A squid. A mackerel makes a nice big big hook there just on a simple slide in ledger rig 
with a size 16 weight. So in we go. And let's send it down. Away she goes. So I just put them in my first ever RAS. I've never had a RAS before. On my own rig that I just tied up in the boat. The teeth on that. Absolutely lovely little fish. Another new fish on the species list today for me, uh, Rash. So let's pop him back in. And off he goes. Hmm. Another power. Ow. No pout. Back in he goes. And he's gone. So another little uh, little pout for me. However, Chris over there has got a ras. It's quite a nice one. Look at that. Well done, mate. It's lovely. So I'll hook this and get this back in. Right, so we're back on the motor. That wreck was a pretty good wreck, actually, wasn't it, Chris? Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, good wreck. Chris is obviously driving the old, uh, the old boat. Away we go again, we're on rank number two. Got to sink nice on the feathers. It's probably just a little pout. Could be a macro actually. Is it yeah. Oh yeah, I think you've got a couple of macro here, Chris. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I pulled me over. Can you hold the tip of that one first? Just hold that. Take that off around there. There we go. Nice couple of nice macro there. Woohoo! Happy days. Down there. Sort them out. Yeah, I'll fish on. Sorry? I think I'll fish on. You got fish on? Yep. It's fighting. It's fighting. Double crab. Yeah, it's definitely a pound. And there he is. Another hungry pouting on a double crab. Let's unhook him and get him back in. Whoa. Oh, I'll unhook yourself then. <laughs> that unhooked itself and swam straight down. Nice. Nice. Right. Go for a 
first lure caught bass. Yeah, first lure caught bass. Absolutely brilliant. I don't think he's sizable, is he? Oh, shit. Whoa. See? I've got a measure in the thing anyway. Yeah, lovely. Oh, there you go. Let's put it down. Fish than me, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so today's been a really good day. CJ's done an absolutely fantastic job. I had a really, really good time out on the boat. Uh, we've had tons of fish, loads of fish. It's been great. New PBs have been broken, and new memories have been made. So yeah, it's been pretty good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's a first for you, isn't it? Oh yeah, loads of firsts for me. First on the boat, first tote, first ras, first law court bass of 2020. Yeah, so done all right. Yeah, you're skipping me good. Yeah, put me on the fish, man. Put me on the fish. Alright, guys, so check out Sea Fisherman Sea. Leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. <laughs>